it's my husband's birthday today. Happy birthday, Dan! <laughs> Underneath this black puffy jacket, I'm currently wearing a dress that I thrifted this morning. Now, we're going out for dinner at a very fancy restaurant, so I thought to myself this morning, I should go and thrift a dress that I can wear to dinner tonight. So stay tuned until the end of the video for the final reveal for the magnificent dress that I picked up. But uh, this is a slightly different format for this video because I head to the thrift store, I try on a whole bunch of things, I'll show you guys the prices and the brands and all that sort of thing, and then I end up buying a couple of my favourites and then it takes me a little while to decide which of those that I'm going to wear. But a slightly different style of video today, so if you enjoy this new format then let me know down below and give me a thumbs up on this video so I know I should try videos like this again in the future. So with that, I'm going to take you guys thrift shopping for a formal dress to wear to dinner. Alright guys, so today I am thrifting at the Lifeline store in Castle Hill. This is a relatively new store. It sits directly above a St. Vinny's and if you're coming out this way you have to visit both stores. But this particular store has this selection of dresses right when you walk in the front door and these dresses are literally amazing. There's so many dresses here that are brand new with their tags still on them. They've color coordinated them all to make it really easy to find. So the first dress that I'm trying today is this gray one here. It's by a brand called Miss Anne, which I've never heard of before, and it was $18. Now, I really liked the way that this fit me at the top of the dress, but I wasn't the biggest fan of the base of it. I actually was kind of tempted to just cut it. See where the white part ends and where all the frills and everything end? I thought maybe I should just cut this there and just use it as a top because I really didn't like the bottom of it. See how nice it is on the top? I think it's lovely, but the bottom is just... It's an awkward length and I didn't really like this big frilly thing, so I thought maybe if I just chop it here could be good. Next contender is this white polka dot dress. Now this one here is by a brand called Runaway Heart. Never heard of this brand either. This was only $10 and when I put it on I realised, okay, yeah, it's it's $10 for a reason. It's not great. Um, it's cute, a cute sort of summery dress, not quite formal enough for this evening's uh, festivities. I liked the lace-up detail at the front, but it just felt very cheap. This next dress here, I like the colour combination. Now this is G-Shape, don't know this brand either. This is only $12, which that's a pretty good price for a maxi dress. I really like the way that it cinches in just under the bust, and it's a really nice length too. The blue and the kind of like off greenish brown is really nice as well. This one here, now this really caught my attention on the rack. This is by Boohoo and it's Boohoo Tall, which is good for me because I'm like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, kind of. But unfortunately, it was not my size. Rather unfortunate. This next one, oh my god, okay. I knew I had to try this when I picked it up. I was like, this is so heavy and it feels so well made. It's really luxurious and glamorous. This brand is J'adore. I have bought formal dresses from these guys before. It's a really nice brand. This is $30, which so far is the most expensive dress, but without a doubt, it is the best. Someone must have worn this as like a bridesmaid's dress or something. It is so nice. It's got this slightly sort of Roman vibe to it. The fabric is beautiful. The way that it sits is really nice. It's got this absolutely enormous collar piece on it, like a choker kind of thing. It's just stunning and I love the color and I think it complements my skin tone really well as well. But this next one, so this is a black and white dress that has this sort of frilly detail at the top here. Now this is $18 and the brand is called Seduce. I have heard of this brand before. I really like the way that this sits on my waist and also the interesting sort of shape that the white and the black creates. It's got this big stripe going straight down the center and then it's got these sort of curves that the white color creates. It sits really nicely. It's a really sort of, I don't know, I don't know if you'd say retro, kind of kind of a retro-ish looking dress, but what I liked most about it is the V-neck and the way that it sits on the waist. Now this one, I had really high hopes for this. This is a brand called Loft and it looks quite old. It looks like it could potentially even be a vintage dress. It was only $12 and unfortunately when I put it on, I was not a massive fan of the way that it fit me. Probably something to do with the way that the buttons were sitting. It was my size, but also I was a little bit concerned that just touching the buttons very lightly could potentially make them pop open and wearing a dress where the buttons go all the way from the top to the very bottom can be a little bit nerve-wracking. Okay, look, you guys know how much I love to feature a good cult outfit here and there. How, how much I like to look like a human sacrifice every so often. So when I saw this one for $18, I thought I should try it. I felt very ominous, I must say. I did feel like I was ready to be sacrificed to Satan. I kind of felt like Slender Man 
going to the casino, wearing pinstripes. This next one was Calvin Klein and it was $35. This was brand new with tags and it was originally $130. This is from Macy's, so it's come from America. So actually $130 US dollars is like $200 Australian dollars. This is a very, very, very long dress but it's the softest fabric imaginable. It's honestly the sort of thing where you put it on and you can just feel the quality oozing out of it. It was so nice, but was fitting me in a bit of a strange way because it wasn't quite my shape. And also the fabric, there was just so much fabric that I didn't really know what to do with it. And I was kind of swimming in it, but I, I really like the color combination. I like the black and the beige and the white. This next dress, look, I'm a sucker for this style. I always like the look of it on a rack. I have no idea what the brand is, maybe Kissim or something. And uh, this one was $15. I always fall prey to dresses like this because I look at it on the rack and I think it looks really cute. And then I put it on and I absolutely despise it. It's so awkward on me. I hate anything that has built-in cups that you can see from the front. This next one, ugh, look, this was brand new with a tag. $23 MB the label. I think I've seen this brand online. I think I've seen them advertising on Instagram and I thought it would look nice, but I just kind of looked necky necky. <laughs> kind of looked like a Kardashian, but I didn't pull it off in the way that a Kardashian would pull it off. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I felt very exposed. <laughs> this next one, this is a nice color combination. Black, gray, gold, white. This is the brand Crossroads, which is a little bit pricey. $10 for this, which is, I think, a pretty reasonable price. I really like the way that this sits. I love anything that has a band directly under the bust. I think that it sits really nicely on me. This had these tiny little beads on the straps, and I liked the way that it fit me. It tied up at the back. It was a cute dress, but also part of me felt like it just wasn't quite special enough for my husband's birthday. Okay, this next one, well, to be fair, this is not a dress. This is a pant suit. This is the brand Baby Boo. Never heard of it. It was $20. I so desperately wish I could pull off a jumpsuit. I so desperately wish I could, but unfortunately, I just can't. It just looked really awkward and weird, and uh, I didn't like the way that it was sitting on the front here. It was sort of showing a little bit too many lumps and bumps for my liking. This next one was brand new with a tag again. This is... Forever Pretty, I think that's what the brand is. It was $25. Again, I feel like if this had been my size, maybe I would have liked it a little bit more, but it was kind of baggy around my waist and there was definitely too much fabric on the top. I feel like this would have been a really good dress, but not quite right for me. This next one, when I saw this on the rack, I just, I knew without a doubt I had to try it on. This was only $10. And this is the brand Tempt. Now Tempt is kind of a cheap brand here, so I was really surprised to see that they'd made a dress like this because this felt very luxurious. The only problem for me was I hated how it fit me across the hips. It just looked really awkward, but from the back, from the back, it looked glorious. I felt so opulent and rich. I love this fabric. It was super stretchy, really, really super soft. I can't even begin to explain. I love the drapey fabric. It looked like a like something a goddess would wear. It was so glorious, but it was just fitting me in such a strange way at the front. But I thought to myself, well, look, maybe this is better off not as a dress. Maybe I should try some sort of DIY project and uh, see how it just kind of pulls across here. I just really, really hated the way that it was pulling. So no matter what I did, I couldn't make it look any better. I mean, that's just my body shape, really. I, I just, I literally hated the way that it looked down there. But from the top, and the magnificent flowing wings and everything. I just, I felt a million dollars from the top. So this one to me is a good sort of project to work on. I've got to come up with some ideas as to what I could do with it, but I loved the color and I love the top of it and I love the drapey fabric. So I categorized everything into the I hate them pile, the I definitely want it and the maybe pile. And I took a little while to sort through them. I didn't want to spend too much money. I thought to myself, okay, I'm, I really only came here to get one dress. Like literally I just wanted to get a dress just to wear to dinner tonight. I should really only be leaving with a single item. But some of these were just so nice that I thought, oh, I can't leave without them. So I budgeted myself to $100. So I was checking the price of everything and I said, if I go over $100, I've got to cull it down. And uh, with that, let's head back home and I'll show you the things that I bought. All right, so I'm back home and I don't have long at all until Dan and I need to be leaving for dinner. I think I have like literally 35 minutes or something. So I'll show you quickly the things that I did end up buying. Here's something that I didn't try on because it was, 
As I was walking to the counter about to pay, I spotted this skirt and I remembered that someone had left a comment asking me to do like a thrifted cottage core haul. And when I saw this, I was like, that's cottage core, right? Like, like buttercup yellow and dainty little flowers. So I got this one, obviously not as part of today's video. So we'll look at this one another day. How could I not buy the glamorous green thing? Now this is not going to be appropriate tonight because this is the most extra thing imaginable with its very, very, very long straps. But I just love the look of this one so much. I couldn't leave it behind. And for $10, oh look, how terrible is a butter beer bottle sitting on my dresser. That's not very stylish. My thought process for this one is that I kind of really, really want to just cut it like down here and bunch that fabric up and just make like a really thick kind of belt across there and then just wear it like a really super glamorous extra top. What do you guys think? Do you think I should do that or should I leave it the way that it is? Because it's for me, it's just way too tight down here. I don't think that it's flattering at all, but I just, oh, I love the top part of it so much. It's so pretty. I wonder, can you actually see me in the mirror? I'm just guessing you can. Can you see the mirror? If I stand here, can you see me in the mirror? Sorry, I just spent all of that time talking to the mirror and I don't think you can actually see me in the mirror. But uh, $10 for this. This is just fabulous. I feel like a, I, I am the main character. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> all right, so this one was without a doubt, like the nicest dress I think I've bought in my entire life. I mean, aside from my wedding dress, but this, the way that this is made and the, the quality of this one is just unbelievably nice. I am completely and utterly convinced that someone wore this as a bridesmaid's dress. Like you, you can't change my mind otherwise. There's, there's no way that this wasn't a bridesmaid's dress or at least a, a prom dress or something. This is the most luxurious, soft fabric I think I've ever felt ever. We've got this one top layer and then we've got a second layer, but the fabric is so heavy that it feels like you're wearing about 10 different layers. It's really, really flowy and oh, I love it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can you see the bottom? I hope you can see the bottom of this. Look at it spin. Look at me spin. I am glamorous. I am suave. I am sexy and sophisticated and elegant and magnificent and once again, I am the main character. It's got this beautiful beading all the way along here. And I love the way that this drapes. This fabric is just unbelievably nice. And uh, this is definitely too over the top for dinner tonight. But I can't wear this to the fancy restaurant. Like, yes, it's a fancy restaurant, but it's not quite that fancy. But this was 30 bucks and like, I couldn't not buy it. Now I just have to hope that I get invited to some sort of formal event or something where it's appropriate to wear this. Cause uh, like a birthday dinner at a, hundred dollar a head restaurant is not quite the right place for something like this but maybe if I get invited to a charity ball or something then I'll be able to wear this but I will hold out hope every day until the day that I can wear my glorious glamorous incredible thrifted prom dress. This next one is the one that I think is going to be the winner tonight I'm pretty sure. This one was $18 and the brand is Seduce. Fitting because it's my husband's birthday. Jokes, I'm on my period. So I definitely think that this one is probably the one that I will wear tonight. I I love the way that it fits. I think it's so elegant and nice. I, the frills here, the frills kind of bother me, but I kind of like them. But see, they bother me because of this. I, I think I kind of need to iron it in a, in a different direction because it should really be sitting outwards. And this one keeps kind of like flopping inwards and it really bothers me, but I don't have time to iron it tonight. But I, I, think, I think this is an appropriate level of like, oh yes, fancy restaurant black high heels, nice long black dress. It's 40 degrees outside, so I don't need sleeves. And I also got this little bag. Now there was this like area at the front counter where they were selling handbags and little purses. And I spotted this one and I thought that it could possibly have been vintage because it looks very old and dated. And uh, on the inside, it's got this really old looking sticker here that says handmade in Hong Kong. And I love the way that it clips together. I don't know if it's quite big enough to hold my phone. I have a feeling that this was probably made in a year prior to smartphones existing. So I don't know if it's gonna hold an iPhone or not, but I figured that this would look really nice with this dress. Uh, I think I need a few more gold accessories though, because obviously the dress being black and white kind of makes me think maybe I, sh maybe I should accessorize with white actually. So I got this white bag. Oh no. Oh no, now I don't know what to do. No, I think I need to go with the black one, but I'll show you the white one anyway. This is probably a bag that someone wore to a wedding at some point. This was $5 and it's got these little uh, rhinestone details all along the top here, little flowers. 
and it's got two really big ones where the clip is. This one looks like it's going to hold a fair bit in here, definitely a phone, money, lipstick and all that. It's got a very cheap feeling chain, so I don't feel like this was a particularly expensive bag, but I really like the big flowers and I could possibly wear this one tonight, but the white is really bright crisp white and this white is kind of like an off-white, so it kind of clashes a little bit. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm running out of time. I'll figure this out later. Ah, <laughs> yes. The next dress. Mm, I would wear this one tonight, but it's a bit too long to wear anywhere. I seriously only bought this because my inner brand haul came out. I was like, this is a Calvin Klein dress and it's $35 and it's brand new with a tag. So like, I just, I couldn't stop myself. And I thought, okay, either, either I like it, either I love it or I hate it. It's, um, it's definitely unusual, very different to everything else that I bought. It's a really, really, really soft and comfortable fabric, but it's so stretchy that the weight of it is just stretching it out and making it drag on the ground. And even if I wear super high heels, oh, maybe high heels will just have it gracing the ground, maybe just, ever so slightly. Oh, this, is, this is interesting. Actually, I don't mind this combination of like black, white and beige. It's actually quite nice. This has come all the way from Macy's and we don't have Macy's here. So someone bought this in America. I, I would literally put money on the fact that like some Australian went on a holiday to Honolulu <laughs> and went to the Macy's at the Ala Moana Center and bought this. And then because it was on sale, that's why they bought it. And then they sat it in their cupboard for years and they, they never wore it. And you know how I know that that's probably what happened? Cause that's what my mum and I did. Yeah, the first time my mum and I went to Hawaii on a holiday, we freaked out at all the cheap things in Macy's and we bought a bunch of stuff and then we literally never wore any of it. So um, I, I'm, I'd be willing to bet that's how this ended up in Australia. But this, okay, it is, yes, it's too big for me. It's, it's a couple of sizes too big, but I feel like I can work with this. I need to, if I put like a big padded bra on or something underneath this and accessorize and dress it up, I mean, even this, I could probably wear this cute little black bag with actually, yeah, yeah, that doesn't look bad with the black bag. Black high heels in this black bag and maybe a red lip or something, hmm. But there is one more option, which is this gray dress, which I originally thought that I would like cut up because I just like the top of it. But actually, now that I'm in it, now that I'm home and out of that horrible changing room lighting, because I'll tell you what, that lighting was doing me literally zero favors. Lighting when it's from directly above casts shadows in like weird and awkward places and I was really hating the way that it looked on me in the change room. But now that I'm here, actually I think I'm gonna wear this one tonight. Given how hot it is outside, how comfortable this fabric is, this hugs me up here where my rib cage is, but then it loosens out here. And it's got this detail here which kind of disguises any insecurities I have about my tummy or like the line of my undies or anything. So I think, yes. I think that's it. I think this is the winner for tonight. I've got to figure out how I'm going to accessorize it. Do I have any other accessories? Oh, I've got two more. Oh, oh I've got a few things. Oh, I forgot. Ah, okay. So, listen. Look at this cute little bag. So this, these are shells. These are all shells. And this was $5. And it's got these carved handles. It's got... Uh, I don't know if there's any information in here. No, look, there's no brand. Although on here it says something. It says, okay, PTA, and then a bunch of numbers. Okay, well, that's not really gonna help us. Um, yeah, so there's no brand written in here, so I've got no idea where it's from. But looking at it, it actually, it looks quite old to me. It looks quite dated. So I'm gonna tell myself that this is a vintage bag. This actually, oh my God, I think this suits this dress. <gasps> what do you think? Does it suit? Does it suit the dress? I. I feel very early 2000s. Like I feel like this is something that Paris Hilton would have worn down the red carpet or something in the early to early 2000s. Oh, I really like this. I have zero idea what to wear on my feet. If I can find some like sparkly silver heels, I feel like that'll do the trick, but a lot of my heels are packed up in boxes and I literally, the only shoes I've been wearing are like those Lamoda shoes because I did that sponsorship. Like I, I received that box and unboxed them before I unpacked my own shoes after the move. So I'm gonna have to go like diving head first into a box full of shoes and try and find some shoes to wear with this dress. But uh, I also have this clutch and uh, this is completely metal. So this is from the brand Colette and I really like Colette. It's like a kind of, 
a little bit pricey accessory store. Like Colette is a good place to buy gifts for people because it's like that little bit pricier and their stuff is quite nice. Um, I, I actually, when I picked it up, I thought it was vintage, but no, no, it's just from Colette. It just looks vintage, but this is also really pretty. Bags like this can obviously be, be worn over the shoulder or they can be used just as like a little clutch. Oh, okay, now I've got a big decision to make. Do I want to wear this one with this dress? This was $8, by the way. So I can wear it as a clutch, which does look, looks all right. Yeah, look, I think this one, because the little slash of white on the dress matches the slash of white on this. And also, this has little teeny tiny little uh, beads hanging off it. And this also has beads all over it. So I think that I'm gonna go for this one. So now, uh, oh, oh, there's two more things. So I'm gonna keep forgetting. I don't buy jewelry anymore because my best friend is a jeweler, but this, goes around here and then clicks in here. Uh, that's not really gonna suit anything that I'm planning on wearing tonight. This has little crystals all over the O-ring here. And uh, this is the necklace that Sam made me. So I'm gonna wear this one tonight, but this was $4. So that's not bad at all. Jewelry at thrift stores is always really great. And then the, the very last thing that I got, not related to dresses, got another pot for my plants. If you watched yesterday's video, you'll know that I'm only putting my plants in thrifted pots. So this one is white with little silver stars and it was $4, so I, I could not not buy it. So anyway, I'm gonna go accessorize, do my makeup, fix my hair, and uh, then we will head out for dinner. And just like that, I'm ready. And uh, we're ready to head out to dinner now. And I'm beyond happy with this dress. I can't believe that I just found this today, just out of the blue, at a thrift store. It feels like something that I had planned well in advance, you know, like this is the perfect level of sophisticated and formal, but also not so formal that when you walk into the restaurant, everyone's going to stare at you because you look too dressed up. So I've got my little bag here. Take the tag off because I have gone out many times wearing tags on clothes. As far as the little bag goes, I suppose I'll just be able to fit my phone, hopefully with any luck. Yep, phone fits uh, my little Guerlain shiny lipstick fits in there and I'll put in my my credit cards and everything and uh, Unfortunately, what I really would have liked is a pair of white shoes white or maybe gray shoes But I've got these little pink stilettos on at the moment because they are the only ones that I can find Hopefully they don't clash with the outfit too much, but I feel really really good this was a great idea and I'm really happy with this video and uh, tell me what you guys think about this whole kind of like hmm speed run to a thrift store and try on a bunch of things. Like when I was there and I was looking at my pile of things that I was going to try on, I was thinking, oh, I should probably buy all of this and take it home and make a video about it. And then I was like, Alex, you don't, you don't need to do that. You don't need to buy everything here. Don't be silly. I think that that's just the mindset that I'm so used to from online shopping now. Obviously when you shop online, you can't try anything on. So I'm used to buying it more than I need and then having it at home and trying it on. But I can always just go to a go to a store and try things on and then pick the ones that I want, you know, like shop like a normal person. So if you liked that format, if you liked seeing me in the change room at the thrift store, trying on a whole bunch of different clothes, please let me know in the comments down below. Tell me what you think about my dress, about my outfit of the night for Dan's birthday. Happy birthday, Dan. Oh, I you. love you. I love you too. What do you think of my new thrifted dress? Kind of Khaleesi vibes. Khaleesi, oh yes, actually. Why didn't I think of that? Yes, Khaleesi vibes. Okay, ready to go? Yeah, of course. Okay, let's go. Oh, hang on, can't forget my- your wind chime. My wind chime. <laughs> Americans wouldn't believe us if we told them it was 7 p.m. right now in December and this is what the sunlight is like. <laughs> listen, listen. It's also like 27 degrees. <laughs>
You want some dinner? Too expensive for you, mate. Welcome to Australia, my friend. Where is he? <laughs> He's big. That's, that's what you like to see after a lovely dinner in Australia. And we're back from dinner. So, that's it guys, that's everything. Here, let me come stand in the light so you can see us. Happy birthday, Dan. Oh, thank you. That was a lovely meal. Hello. <laughs> Sorry you couldn't come Sorry. with us, little baby. Okay, family hugs. All right, guys, that's it. That's everything. I hope you liked today's video. Thanks for coming along for Dan's birthday and joining me in shopping for a dress to wear to dinner. Uh, if you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Mwah! <laughs>